So it's time for the third exercise and we're gonna do the big, ugly, it's a love-hate relationship, but it's gonna be the squat. You ready? Yes. So what do you usually tell the people, the viewers, what do you usually do when you do a squat? Contract the quads and when you do it, you don't have to go all the way down, so like to 90 degrees. And when you go up, you don't make the full extension, but you always do something like this. So always keep the tension on the quads when you're doing a squat exercise. At least that's if you want to have maximum growth. Of course, if you're training for something else, maybe powerlifting, maybe you want to go all the way up. But if you're here to really build some muscle, build some quality muscle, it's important to always keep the the tension on the muscle, so that's why you don't lock all the way out and you don't go all the way down, so she keep the tension on the, on the, on the front quad. So we're gonna show some, you guys how it looks like, and we're gonna try to superset it with wide and closed uh, leg grip. So first thing we're gonna do, take the bar off. She's gonna do a wide stance, normal stance. And you're gonna go down, up, stop. Nine. Ten. So now you put your legs together and try to do the same. One. Two. Come on, you can do it. Nine. Ten. So, as you guys can see, uh, she really kept the tension on the quads and on her legs while doing this exercise. And the reason why it's very important, if you take, if you go lock all the way out, then it's like you're doing one rep, going back up, down, take one rep, taking your time, going back down. So it's like you have a rest in between sets. But when you don't do that, you keep the time and the tension on the muscle all the time. So that's why that's something I always advise people to do. And secondly, by doing that, you really keep the contraction on your uh, muscles. And it's also a good way to get a better mind-muscle connection with the group, muscle group that you're trying to work out. So now, she did the first set, we're gonna do the second set. As I said, we always try to um, um, shock the body so the body doesn't know what's gonna go happen. So this second set, we're gonna do it a little bit different. Eight, nine, ten. Again, wide grip. Come on, come on, come on. You go down, just a little bit, stop, up, stop. Down, so you don't have wraps. Go up, stop. Go up, stop. Two, three, come on. Four, come on. Five, come on. Six, come on. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, come on. One more, ten, nice. It's a workout. Yeah, it's a heavy workout. That's a heavy workout. <laughs> <laughs> she asked for it, so you have yes. to give it. But she's doing really good, really good. Because don't forget, guys, as I said before, you already fatigue the muscle. So that's why you don't have to go that heavy with the squat because your muscle already kind of say uh, pre-exhausted. They're already uh, pretty full with uh, blood going in because you already did some good sets uh, with leg extension and leg curls. So this is just a way to get more engagement in the muscle, to get more muscle fibers working when you're working out. So as I said it before, you don't have to go heavy. Just make sure your technique is good and that you really uh, focus on contracting that muscle. As you can see, now maybe Naomi can tell you guys how she's feeling at this moment. <sighs> My muscles are fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> They're burning, but they're feeling good. You ready for another set? Yes. Okay, let's, let's go. It. So now we start again. Why? We're gonna try to do four this time, yeah? You ready? One, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, come on. Seven, eight, come on. Nine, ten, close grip, let's go. Come on, you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Six, seven, come on. Eight, come on, come on, come on. Nine, ten, white grip, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Half wraps, ready? One, two, three, 
two, come on, three, I'm with you, four, come on, five, nice, close grip, let's do, let's do close grip, six, you want to finish it, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, wow, and let's do close grip, you ready, okay, let's go, short session, let's go, one, two, three, come on, four, come on, five, come on, come on, you can finish it, you can finish it, let's go, let's go, let's go, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, wow, that's a great set, okay, now we're done, <laughs> now we're done, yes, <laughs> that was squat for now, so we're gonna do some leg press, so tell me, she's probably out of breath, but respect, so tell them, how you feeling, so, uh, I'm exhausted, <laughs> I better feeling good. Yeah. So this I told what I, you I won't stop. Yeah, she said she won't stop, so really respect. I was doing I, I thought we were gonna do five five, but she did 10 10, so uh, towards the end. So that's big respect for that. So that's what I want to show you guys. Always keep the muscle guessing. Don't be rep and rep and rep and do the same stuff. So you see the first set where it was different than the second, was different than the third, and that's what keeps her body going and to keep her muscles guessing so she really get that good contraction, good pump, and of course she's gonna feel exhausted, but this is the way you should do it. Don't make every rep and every set the same. Don't make your workouts boring. Make sure it's interesting for you and also interesting for your body, and you guys will have maximum muscle growth for sure. So we're gonna do a nice finisher, and this is mainly gonna be focused at the uh, outer sweep of her leg and on her glutes. So uh, it's gonna, just gonna be a nice finisher to finish up with a contraction. So Naomi's gonna tell us a little bit what she's gonna do. We're gonna do a squat, uh, but with the kettlebell. And it's like a sumo squat, so you're gonna stand wide. You have to make sure that when you go up, you squeeze your butt. And make sure you don't lose the contraction. So I'm really tired now, but I'm okay. So this was the last workout. Uh, it's important that you fatigue the muscle and not really the, um, the weight, but that you really feel them, feel them burning. And yeah, that was it. I hope you guys liked it. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Gorilla Weight channel. If you guys want more content, please let the comment section below. Until next time. Take care.